The possibility of an increase in the number of suicides after the release of a suicide story in the media can also be seen as a copycat effect, whereby people are so inspired by the story that it's been reported in the media that they themselves copy the person from the story. A classic example of this is school shootings. School shootings used to be really rare. Once every 20 or 30 years or so, somewhere in the world, someone takes a gun into their school and shoots their classmates and teachers. However, since the Columbine High School massacre that happened in 1999, school shootings have become less rare and this trend has continued over the years. The Columbine massacre was one of the deadliest school shootings in the United States. Two teenage boys, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold from the Columbine High School in Colorado killed 13 people, 12 students and one teacher, and injured 24 others and then committed suicide in the end. Shortly after the massacre, many people consciously imitated the two boys from the Columbine massacre. These people have even competed in the number of people that they kill. Unfortunately, publicising mass killings in the media can sometimes provide a model of violent behaviours for people to copy. It can give people ideas about how to commit the crime. For most copycat criminals, they want to do something that brings them high media coverage so that they receive a high level of attention. Therefore, when the media publicise violence, it can actually elicit more violence in the community.